Hey friends, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Lauren and I am a photographer, artist, living in Portland, Oregon. And in today's video, I'm going to be taking you through a super big fun project that I did for the month of February. So um, if you're new to my channel, I'm doing these monthly sort of vlog things, um, but focused kind of on one, one project for each month. And this month, I've been doing something that's slightly different than what I usually do on a day-to-day -day basis. Basically, for the month of February, I did art direction on a music video. If you've been watching my channel for any amount of time, you have been, your ears have been graced with the beautiful music of James Gameboy, one of my friends who um, is a super talented musician and we are making a music video for him. So for the month of February, I was tasked with doing all of the art direction for the entire music video as well as doing a little bit of set design, um, which ended up actually being uh, the bulk of what this month has been. Usually when I come into a space for art direction for a film, I'm usually working around the already existing furniture and sort of decoration that is in the space. But for this music video, we had a completely empty house that I was tasked with furnishing. And then also the song is called Called Moth GF, which is basically a, a sort of funny take on on goth girlfriend, basically. So I am building this human-sized moth cocoon, which I mean sounds like kind of like the most ridiculous thing you've ever heard in your life, but it actually, I'll, I'll spoil the video a little bit. It actually turned out pretty cool. I, if I do say so, if I can toot my own horn a little bit, it actually turned out pretty cool. Obviously, if you're not doing anything other than a, like, mainstream movie, you have a pretty small budget in terms of everything, um, especially when it's just a bunch of us friends doing it, something together. So I had an extremely small budget, which I think kind of adds a little fun kind of challenge to it because I'm, you know, gathering furniture pieces and decor from just people that I know who are willing to let me borrow stuff for a weekend. So um, most of the things did come from our, our director's house and a lot of things from just my apartment as well. So for this I'll mostly be taking you through creating the moth cocoon itself and then just a, a few snippets of some of the other art direction things and then a lot of behind the scenes of the actual filming of the music video. So I really really hope you enjoy watching this video. This is like the highlight of my year. I feel like I get to do one to two of these film projects every single year and it's definitely like the best part of my year by far. So I'm really excited to be taking you all along with me and yeah I think that's it. I hope you enjoy.
So today is Friday, February 12th. It is a very cold, wintry, stormy day here in Portland. Um, I'm looking outside the windows right now because it's like a freaking snowstorm right now. This past week I have been working on designing this giant moth cocoon <laughs> for this music video. Right now I'm constructing the, the skeleton. It's legitimately a life-size moth cocoon. It feels like the most intense art project I've ever created. Um, but it's been a lot of fun, super fun to stretch, you know, different creative muscles in that way too. So it's been a lot of fun. It's mostly a lot of paper mache and gluing things together at this point. And I found this, <laughs> I found this really wacky Elmer's goo that they've made. It's pretty much meant to be like a tactile sort of toy to play with, but it's super perfect for this project getting like a nice sticky residue to cover the, this moth cook. I also need to design the, put the room designs together as well. But I'm focusing on the cocoon right now because it's, it just takes the longest time to create, um, especially with the drying time in between all of the layers of glue. All right, so here's our little experiments. We've got my, my test cocoon that's just a Mod Podge balloon. I mean, it's pretty straightforward. But I've got, this used to be some twine that we pulled apart to create the nice little fibrous outer layer of the moth cocoon. And then we've got these different bits. Um, this is hot glue, which obviously did not work. And then this over here is just the Mod Podge dry down clear. And then in the middle is the Elmer's goo that actually does also dry down pretty clear. Um, and the Mod Podge and the goo are pretty indistinguishable of each other. Only when you get up close can you really tell the difference in just the amount of air bubbles that there are. But so I'll be covering the whole thing in Mod Podge just because that's a little bit more. That's a little bit more cost effective. But here's here's our Elmer's glue. My, be my makeup, be a makeup YouTuber here. But let me just show this to you real quick. It comes in a few different color options. I got this pink one because it's it was the most see-through and not sparkly. Um, there's still some tiny bits of sparkle, but I think that's just because I perpetually have sparkle in every aspect of my life already. Um, but look at this stuff. And it, it like doesn't get gooey until you like start to warm it up and like really break it down. Um, you can kind of depress it and it, it is like super, it kind of reminds me of those little Oh, I forget what they're called. They're like the little like sticky animals that you like toss up on the ceiling. <laughs> this stuff is very fun. And it, it smells like bubble gum. It smells so good. <gasps> Just out here sniffing goo. Hi friends, good morning. Um, it's February 20th, long time no see. It's been a week, it's been a week, let's just say that. I don't even remember what, <laughs> where I left you all off. So we got snowed in for the weekend, but our apartment never lost any power or anything like that, so we were all hunky-dory hanging out. This freaking cocoon is taking, it's overtaken my life. Um, Leave me a comment if you all think I could have done something differently for this. Matt has been suggesting chicken wire to me, but I don't really know if chicken wire would have made this whole process go by faster or not. Um, just because I really like... I like the control. I have been non-stop making this damn cocoon. And it's still not done yet. It's going very slowly, but I think I'm like... 40% done, maybe. I mean, these numbers are fake, but. So I'm going to the Goodwill bins today to find some last minute things that we need for the room designs. Um, I love going to the Goodwill bins. I haven't been in a literal year. It was literally like end of January last year when I went to the bins for the first time. <laughs> but no, I love going to the bins and it reminds me a lot of my childhood going to like a bunch of different like 
rural thrift stores and just like sorting through like the junk and stuff trying to find treasures and things so I love going to the bins it annoyed me to no end that I couldn't go to the bins because we were in a global pandemic we're still in a freaking global pandemic but I the bins is like the best place to find any fabric clothing I mean gosh even like furniture pieces everything basically the Goodwill bins is whatever they don't sell at the like regular Goodwill stores and the majority of stuff they don't sell at Goodwill stores too the sweaters from the Goodwill bins I I love the Goodwill bins I will talk about the Goodwill bins for like hours so we need to get a shit ton of fabric for part of one of the sequences then tomorrow i'm driving down to the location we finally have the location and i know what it looks like <laughs> for any actual art directors out there or people aspiring to be real art director directors this is not how you do it this is it's like pure chaos right now or maybe this is how it always happens and it's been very stressful i guess i'll just say it it's been very stressful trying to come up with room designs with a very very limited basically non-existent um budget and also not knowing what location we're shooting in so it's been and i'm still stressed about it but that's okay um i'm very i'm the most visual person i have to I have to see it. I have to like see it in person and so not being able to visualize kind of anything that's going on is like ah, it's very stressful but I know it's gonna all come together I mean because it has to so <laughs> cue the chaos this is the chaos portion of the vlog um I'm on my phone I'm in the car there's noise I, my brain is like fried. And then I enter chaos mode. Well, folks, we got bad news. No. So, I guess I'm just gonna look for Goodwill stores, I guess, which is gonna make this infinitely more expensive, but <gasps> a bunny, oh my goodness. Worth it. Worth it. Any kind of rotation or a tilt? Uh huh. And then. <laughs> what would that look like at the end of this shot? If we were low? Yeah. Sounds like it looks like the uh, table would keep steering it, probably, right? Hello, friends. Welcome back. Um. It's February 24th. Today is technically our first, well, it's actually our first day of production. It is the day. Um. We're driving down to the location later this afternoon, and it's gonna be an afternoon evening shoot. Um. But I haven't been really good at updating you because we've been, like, frantically trying to finish everything up in time. I've gone to Joanne's three times in the past, like, 24 hours. <laughs> I just finished up the cloth cocoon that our main character is going to be wrapping himself in. So I will show... <laughs> Here, let me show you this. Okay. Ignoring my entire regular mess on top of this art direction mess. So basically the main character, he's gonna wrap himself in all of these fabrics because you know, moths like to eat fabrics and then he's gonna turn into a fabulous moth boyfriend, basically. <laughs> um, so so this is our, our um, basically we're gonna be doing a sequence where he's wrapping himself in all of these clothing items and different fabric pieces. So. I've sewed all of these together, and I'll just walk you through how incredibly... Oh, hi, baby! Sindri! Oh, hi. Yeah. Wrap ourselves around. Come on up the stairs. Hopefully I don't fall. From below the stairs too, and then finally we come to rest right here. I it's 
the longest thing I've ever made in my life. I don't, it's so big, it's so cumbersome. But yeah, there you go. So yeah, there's all of that. As you can tell by the state of my face, you know, I've got, <laughs> I've even got my zip patch here. We're, we're like down to the wire. I'm not even giving a crap about, about this video. I'm so sorry, everybody. But I'm done, so I'm done with that. And that's what we need for today. Um, and then we're, we're so close to being done with the moth cocoon, like the actual moth cocoon. Um, it needs just a little bit more of the white um, tissue paper and then we'll do the green layer and then the like fibrousy layer on top. So the skeleton took by far the longest amount of time, way too much time. Honestly, I think probably chicken wire would have been. At least faster, I, I don't know, but we're here now, we, we, we've made it through, um, and so I'm just gonna go ahead and keep working on that now until Matt gets back home and then he's gonna help me work on it too, so. Hopefully we'll be able to even finish the moth cocoon today, um, we don't need it until tomorrow, but I mean, once we leave for set in the afternoon we won't really have any other time to work on it, so. We're, we're down to the wire, but... I'm walking on it like a tightrope, so we're doing good. Okay, here. Um, yeah. See you soon. Hi, baby. Are you wondering why there's so much fabric in disaster? You want to come on up? Come on. Come on. Yeah, hi. Oh, hi. Oh, you're my butt. Also, side note. I got this fabulous chair from Goodwill for $12. It swivels. It's the perfect height for my little sewing, crafting, weaving area. Sindri loves it. I'm going to reupholster the whole thing and repaint it, but that's going to be a different project. I'm not thinking about it right now. But here's even... Here, I'll just show you. Here's... Wow. Here's our moth cocoon. It's going to be sitting on the couch, hence the kind of, like, odd shape. Um, it's huge. It's, like, bigger than me. Because, I mean, it's supposed to fit a human being, so... He's a little lumpy, um, but the, those kind of lumps over there are going to be in the back. Um, so, so this area... You like how I'm pointing with my toes? Um, this area right here is, like, the front side. Um, and then this is, like, the butt of the cocoon, basically, so... Whew! We're getting there, folks. We're getting there. Sindri, do you have anything to say? It's literally like handling an infant. <laughs> a, the largest baby. Ugh. And we've got one brace right here in the middle. Um, I was thinking, you know, we could have done uh, maybe more braces, but... Mm. Okay. Okay. Where are my...
all these cameras. Fucking paparazzi. <laughs> They're already here. <laughs> Seagull's not even out. start pouring and then bring it back just a little bit and then have that but I think we'll action. See. Let's see what's the damage. My so, way. Sh it's the damage. Okay. Sh kinda slow. Okay. Is there actual water in it? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Camera speeds. And action. kind of just want me to go here. Yeah, take that first step. And so like really your left leg can stay where it is the whole time. Yeah. And we can't see the, the right leg about C stand, can we? No. Okay. We good to go? Yep. Alright. Action. Austin can do it in post. <laughs> really? I'm only no. <laughs> uh, still rolling, still rolling. Still rolling. <laughs> Camera speeds? Yeah.
my god! You did it! We did it! Oh, fuck. Right side. I wanted to be able to see like a little bit like, more Like there's there. no way you're not just in there. Yeah, I think your body. Um, is here out of the frame, Cody? Uh, a little bit more? Yeah. Are you, can you like make an L with it? That's what I'm planning on doing. Oh, yeah, so like here-ish. Um, can you a little L. further back? There-ish. Let's try that. I never got to hear her. Her song. I like yeah. a girl with a short skirt and a long skirt. Yes. <laughs> Underneath it. Layering. God damn it. And action. You're almost done with that stitch over there. I'm Camera. about there. <laughs> Camera speed. We should be about good soon. One more take, I think. Do it. And action. Done. Yeah, yeah, how's that? Do you like that? <laughs> Get Pick out. Perfect. Get out. Um, turn it down as low as it can go, please, and then hold it up kind of high and point it at her. Hands up. Bring them up again.
friends hello present day Lauren here yet again so I hope you really really enjoyed this video um, we wrapped up on shooting a few days ago it was a long jam-packed five days of running around Matt and I ended up spending the entire night after the first evening finishing up the moth cocoon getting it all prepped and ready to go and our Elmer's goo came in handy the moth cocoon was so much work but so worth it in the end. I feel like it turned out way, way better than I could have imagined it. And I mean, the music video itself is going to look so cool. I mean, it, it's kind of like a funny sort of song, so it's not really like a serious, you know, like a serious artistic film. But that's one of the things I really, really love about, I don't know, just being a human, that you can just make silly, fun things that are just have no other purpose than to just be fun. So I'm really, really excited to see the finished result. I mean, we had the the most incredibly talented people working on this thing, so it's 100% gonna be maybe, just maybe, the most amazing music video you've ever seen in your life, I mean. So thank you so much for watching this video. Please leave me any comments if you have any questions or anything at all. Um, next month's video is going to be a darkroom video, I promise, I promise. It's going to be a very, very exciting video. I know I say that every time, but it's going to be really good. So yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. Bye!